welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. I picked up a few things from the new Profusion Empowered Butterfly Collection. This collection is available right now on the Profusion website and in stores and online, I believe, at Walmart. Everything in the collection retails from $5 to $14. I picked up the two blushes, the eyeshadow palette, and the lippy trio set. So if you guys want to see some swatches and two looks with this collection, keep on watching. So let's start first with the Lippy Trio set. You are getting three different soft matte lip creams. I want to say this set was like five or seven dollars. I'm wearing the lightest shade in the trio and the shade is called Delicate. And I will be switching lipsticks throughout this video. Next up are the two blushes. This one right here, this one is called Monarch and you do have that imprint of the butterfly in the center as well as on this other one. This one is called Painted Lady. Let's start applying these. I'm going to start first with Monarch. I'll do Monarch on the right and Painted Lady on the left. Now I'm going to use my Refer 04. Now swatching these, they felt very creamy. So let's see. Just kind of swirl. I don't have bronzer like on my, my cheekbones. I only have it up here on my forehead and uh, on my temples and a little bit around my nose. I am testing out a new foundation today. It is the one from Laura Mercier. So I think you guys will see this profusion video go up before you see that foundation video, but I've had this makeup on for about four hours. So if you think it looks good, you're gonna wanna stay tuned for that foundation review because it's a two day, 10 hour wear test. Uh, as all my foundation reviews typically are. Okay, I'm loving this. It's definitely a buildable color. Um, it's matte, but there's a little bit of a hint of sheen to it. So maybe it's more of like a satin. It's pretty and you can just swirl in here. I like that it's buildable. This is a nice like coral shade, coral peachy shade. I think it's really pretty. Next, we're gonna go in with Painted Lady, and I'm gonna take this on a Refer 37. Yeah, these are definitely gonna be very soft flush, a very soft flush of color when you initially apply, but they are buildable. Now, swatching them, they looked different. I don't know how different they're gonna look on the face. I'm thinking they kind of look the same. What do you guys think? It's a pretty shade though. I do recommend if you haven't tried the Profusion liquid blushes, those are really good, really pigmented, and they do last a good while on the cheeks. Okay, so I feel like I had to work for this one a little bit. Um, hmm, I don't know that I'm seeing a big difference. I know when I swatched them, I saw a difference, but now that they're on the cheekbones, I don't know. It's, the payoff is not as intense as it is with some other blushes. I think I like this side better than this side. So Monarch, um, you can buy them individually. They don't come like together or anything. So yeah, I think I like Monarch better. What do you guys think? Painted Lady over here. And I think they look pretty much the same on the cheeks. Uh, I think you could just get away with maybe getting one. I would go with Monarch, but yeah, there you go. So next we're gonna try out this 25 pan eyeshadow palette. We're getting one press glitter and it is the shade in the middle. I will say that when swatching this palette, some of the shades didn't swatch that great. I know we're getting quite a few pastels in here. So that's also probably why, um, but we'll see. I don't ever want to judge a palette just based on arm swatches. We got to see how it's going to perform. And I'm going to be creating two looks with this one. Let me go ahead and add some eyeshadow primer. I forgot to do that. So I'm going in with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. That's my favorite of the moment. Just spread that out. Let me zoom you guys in so we can start creating these eye looks. All right, so on a Game Beauty E01, I wanna go in with this shade right here, and I'm really gonna focus this on the inner corner. We'll see what kind of payoff we can get. 
Now I haven't been to Walmart to see if this is in stores, but I'm pretty sure it is. It was on, I think, Instagram this past week that some people had spotted it already in stores. Okay, so that green is nice. I think it looks like what it is in the pan. Now on another Game Beauty E01, I'm gonna go in with this purple shade right here. Let me do that up here. I'm just gonna kind of stamp it and then I'm gonna get another brush to kind of blend it. Now I'm using the Refer 14 and I'm just gonna start to lightly blend this up here. I don't wanna over blend it. I just kind of want to give it a better shape. That's actually a pretty purple, kind of like a fuchsia. I think that's blending out well. I'm going to go in with some more of the green. Do these have names? Oh, they have shade names on them. They're on the side. I think if you put a white base down, these shades would definitely pop more than what they are but i actually think it's doing a pretty decent job the palette itself is 14 dollars. it's the most expensive thing in the collection okay so i'm not all too sure what i want to do what else i want to do on the lid so let's go to the lower lash line and i'm going to go in with this shade right here this one's called splendid i'm going to take splendid on a bka 504 and just blend down here I do have some mascara on already. It is the surprise, surprise, it's a waterproof mascara. I say that because I don't like wearing waterproof mascara, but I still need to test this out. And it's this new one from Wet n Wild. It's their breakup proof waterproof mascara. I'll say though, for a waterproof mascara, I've worn this a couple times already. It's not bad and it's not that hard to take off either. That's like why I don't like wearing waterproof mascaras because they're just such a pain to take off. But that one actually isn't, I think it made too many problems. And it doesn't like flake or smear on me. I think that looks so cool. What do you guys think? Now, if you wanted to, all matte look, I mean, here it is. This is an option for you. I don't, I don't think that's a bad all matte look. Adding a little bit more of the green, bringing it down. Uh, we need to add some shimmer. I want to use as many shades as I can uh, just because I'm only doing two looks. And that, the reason why I'm only doing two looks is because of the foundation review. I don't want to disturb the foundation or anything. Um, hmm, what do we want to do? Let's see. I could do this for the inner corner. This is such a pretty shimmer. Like these two together, perfect compliments. I think I'm going to get a little bit of this shade with my finger. I'm just going to put it right here. Oh, that's cute. Just a soft little sparkle, like a little topper shade. Nothing too intense. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I usually don't do like a soft little sparkle like this. Like usually it's, you know, shimmer, but this is a nice change of pace. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of that shade in the inner corner as well. For this one, I did spray this brush. This is just a little BH Cosmetics pencil brush. And you can see that by spraying it, you get way more impact. Ooh, I like that, guys. Okay, I'm gonna jump off camera real quick to do some eyeliner and just little finishing touches, and I'll be right back to show you this completed look number one. Okay guys, so here is our completed look number one. I just tight lined the top lash line with my Rare Beauty liquid eyeliner pen. And then for the lower water line, I went in with one of my faves from LA Girl. It's their Neon Shockwave Liner. This one is in the shade Fresh. Uh, touched up the mascara and I did change lippy. This is the darkest lippy in the set. This one is called Graceful. I really like the way this look turned out. It was easy to work with these shadows. Um, like I said, if you do a white base, you'll probably get more payoff from the mattes. But I mean, just like this, like this is pretty decent. This is pretty good payoff. And I like just a light touch of uh, shimmer there in the center of the lid. Let me know what you think. Let's move on to the left eye and we'll start working on look number two. All right, so for look number two, what are we feeling? What do we want to do? I feel like maybe 
working with the blues, the mint maybe. Maybe we can do this on the lid. Ooh, I really want to work with that shade. Like I've been eyeing that shade. This is pretty too. This it's like a I don't know, duochrome. <laughs> a wannabe duochrome. It has like some shifts to it. Um, I think I'm gonna start with the mint shade and then I'm gonna work into this one and then this one. So that mint shade is called Hope. And I'm taking Hope on a Game Beauty E01. Okay, I'm not seeing the shade show up at all. Where is it? Yeah, that's not giving that great a payoff. I mean, it's there, but you're going to really have to pack this on to, to see it. I'm going to go in with that next shade, the blue. Let's see what we can get from this one. Yeah, I don't know about these blues and greens in here. They might be a little too pastel. That one's showing up more though. This blue one is better than that mint one. Now I'm going to go in with that last blue on a refer 14. Uh, not really. Too light, at least for me, it's just a little too light. I'm going to try adding this shade. I know I used this one in the last look, but let me just see what's going to happen. Oh yeah, that helps it out a lot. I'm going to try adding a little bit more of the mint. Okay, it's not my favorite. Uh, I want to try this shade right here and I'm going to spray it. This is a Morphe M124. I'm going to leave the middle, not the middle, the inner corner free so we can do another shade. This one's pretty. Now I think I'm going to add some of this shimmer to the inner corner. This one's called Joy. I'm using the same brush but I sprayed it again. Thank God for these shimmers. So he definitely took the look to the next level. Let's see, it's like this part right here. Now for the lower lash line, I think I'm going to go in with this purple. This one's called Purple Emperor. I'm using a BK207. Now I think I'm going to go in with this shade right here along the lower lash line. And I'm going to spray the brush. This is a Refer 03. I'm going to take some more of this shade and just bring it down a little. Okay guys, I'm going to pop off camera, do the finishing touches, and I'll be right back to show you this completed look number two. Okay guys, so here is the completed second look for the lower waterline. I went in with this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Psychedelic Sister. Um, and then same Rare Beauty uh, eyeliner and of course Wet n Wild Mascara. You know, I, I think the end result looks pretty good, but mm, it's just like this little area right here. I wasn't really feeling those matte blue shades but I think the shimmer shades and with the eyeliner that definitely brought the look together let me go ahead oh and I did change lippy so this is a medium shade of a uh, lipstick and this one is the shade alluring I actually like the darker one the best I think it went with both of these looks better than than this one does or the first one does so let me go ahead and wrap up today's video and I'll share with you guys my final thoughts on this new profusion collection all right, so I've officially used everything that I picked up in this Empowered Butterfly collection from Profusion. I also want to mention there were some other things available in this collection, like lashes, and I want to say maybe like some little rhinestones and stuff. I just got what I thought you guys would be the most interested in. I think my favorite thing about this collection has to be the Lip Trio. I do like all of the shades they included. I didn't necessarily like two of them with these looks. I thought that the darkest one 
went best with both of these eye looks but you know it's a comfortable formula I don't think it's the most long wearing but you know for five seven dollars for three different soft matte lip creams it's not it's not a bad deal so I think if you're looking around at Walmart you see these in stores and these colors or shades that you wear on the regular then I think this is definitely worth picking up um, let's talk about the blushes I was a little disappointed with these blushes like I mentioned go the liquid blush route when it comes to profusion they have a really nice liquid blush formula and so far that is my favorite blush formula that they have I felt these they were nice my favorite of the two was uh, monarch right here which is the one I have on the right um, I felt like I had to work a little harder for painted lady um, I don't know that they're a necessity they're cute but again I would just go and get their liquid blushes their liquid blushes I believe retail for like six or seven dollars and they're really pigmented and they last all day now as far as the eyeshadow palette goes this palette is called free spirit so this is the palette included in the collection 25 shadows for 14 bucks I do want to mention that profusion does a lot of sales on their site so maybe if this color story is of interest to you you could wait and just pick it up uh, on a sale but you know it's a pastel palette it's cute some of the shades are good some of the shades are not that great um i think it's just going to be a hit or miss palette but if you don't like to do a lot of deep looks dark looks if you really don't need depth you just want to use maybe a couple shades and you want something pastel in your makeup collection you know it wouldn't be terrible i like that there's only one press glitter you know i would rather have not had a press glitter but you know I get it some people some of you out there you love your press glitter for me it just it gets everywhere and it stays everywhere it's like it's with you for life you know what I mean um, the palette is cute uh, I just I don't know I, I've tried better from profusion this wasn't my favorite profusion palette I do like the end result of the two looks but again it's just pastels are not my favorite and that could be why I'm not really like gravitating towards this palette but I do think you're gonna find that some of the shades are hit and miss the swatches I did um, I didn't feel like they were swatching out that great so you know it translated better to the eyes than what it did onto the arm but overall I would say if you're gonna pick up anything from the collection just stick, stick to the lippy trio um, I thought that was probably the most useful the best thing out of this collection but let me know your thoughts now what did you think of this empowered butterfly collection have you seen it in stores in your local Walmart did you pick it up already or are you just gonna pass all together let me know in the comments down below and also let me know which look you like best leave it in the comments down below if it is your first time here I want to say hello and welcome to all of you don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell next to it that way you'll be notified every time I drop a new video do all that before you Go. I want to see you all back here really soon. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated guys. Drink your water. Cheers. I'll see you all very soon. Bye.